Did you know that your FortiGate has a built-in iPerf client you can use against public iPerf servers and test your bandwidth in a much more accurate way? In this following guide, we will look at how we do it, how we configure the different parameters such as the amount of TCP streams protocol used, either UDP or TCP, coming up. <music> All right, so now let's use the iPerf client. Now, your FortiGate has an iPerf client, as said. It also has a, a, an embedded iPerf server. So let's start by checking throughput between two interfaces. To do so, you'll use the Dyke traffic test, client interface, and the first uh, is our port one, which is, no, let's use port two, which is, our um, marketing division. The second thing that we will do is direct traffic test server interface. That will be our WAN interface. So let's use port one. And if we'll use the direct traffic test show, we will also see the current configuration. Now to run the test, we will use direct traffic test run. And there we have it. Now. It's not that interesting to look at the bandwidth or the throughput between two interfaces. We want to check our FortiGate against a public iPerf server. Now, there are dozens of public free iPerf servers that you can find on the internet. FortiGate, FortiNet uh, doesn't um, allow you to enter the URL, you will have to enter the IP address. Now to start that we will use Dyke traffic test. Let's use our client which is at port 1. That's our WAN interface. Now the next thing you can also do is to use different protocols. Now if you use proto 0 that is TCP. If you're using protocol one, that is UDP. So if you have voice over IP devices on your network, uh, do the test over UDP also. But for now, we will use Proto Zero, which is TCP. Another thing that you can do, if you use the Dyag traffic test run dash H, you will see the different parameters that you can tweak, that you can play around. One of them is the dash P. The dash P actually allows you to send parallel connections, parallel streams to the server itself. It is much more accurate than one TCP connection. So use it, use six, 10 uh, streams towards that server. It will give you uh, a, a much more accurate result. All right, now the, let's just move that. Now let's just use the Dyag traffic uh, test. Let's run it. Let's run it against our server, which is a public server that is at 89.84.1.222. Now we have forgotten to do one more thing that is using the port number. The port that uh, it uses is 5209. The default port for iPerf uh, is uh, 5201, but uh, this one uses also 5209. So let's just use that port and let's use Dyke traffic test run hyphen C and the address is 89841222. 